Here at the Salina Nature Park, uh, it is slightly different from the other uh, nature reserves because here is a historical site. So being a site, a scheduled site, it is a 16th century salt pans built by the Knights. So our work here as managers of the site is not just to protect nature but also the history and the uh, culture. This habitat is actually unique because it's of course salt pans and salt pans in a way that they are here, they are, there's no other place like it in Malta. Uh, it's quite a big system, in fact, the, it is thought that the Knights could produce around 700 tons of salt a year, which is quite a big number. At that time, uh, salt was also a currency. Uh, unfortunately, Malta is prone to habitat loss at the moment, so it is very important to conserve what we have here locally, of course. A job which has to be done here at Salinas, was, which we tend to do here at Salinas, also looking at the vegetation we've got here and mapping what vegetation we have here. The vegetation is very important because it classifies what kind of um, habitat we have. So a lot of the species you'll find, especially along the parts here, are all very, very resistant to salt, for example. While if you go across where there's more of the woodland, you'll have a lot more which can take shade. They're not as tolerant to very saline conditions. The ones which you find here are all focused, are all, they can all stand between without water. They can stand a lot of salt. Since this is such a characteristic of the landscape, it's important to map these species, not just because some of them are protected by law, not just European, but also by national law, but some of them are endemic to Malta. Apart from mapping the species which are native and endemic to Malta, we are also having to mark out the ones which are avian, which unfortunately, since this is such an exposed area, it's very easy for these to be able to come in, basically. We're doing maintenance on the valves and the salt pans at the moment. This is important because, of course, water is let in the salt pans by gravity. There are no pumps. So to be, this is important to be able to control levels within the salt pans. Of course, some salt pans will be used, of course, for salt production. Others are habitats for various species of birds and animals. The job which has to be done regularly in the reserve is collection of plastic for many reasons, because it is quite an environmental concern. Fish and birds can, eat, or even sea mammals, can very easily swallow different pieces of plastics, especially the smaller pieces of plastics, like microplastics. And obviously this will end up choking in their stomachs and choking. Apart from that, um, certain pieces of plastic can get stuck around, so fish can get stuck in bags, for example, or birds can get things like this stuck around their beaks, making them basically, they, it will keep their mouths open so they'll end up starving to death. It's very easy for birds to get trapped in fishing lines or ropes and things like this. Well, not just birds, obviously, any sea mammal can very easily get from these things so that's why it's important the plastic you can see here is plastic which has been collected over a three-year period and nearly every week more of plastic uh, of nearly a full wheelbarrow of plastic is collected and all of this is coming from the open sea just so you have an idea about how bad the problem is while most of the Salina pathways are open to the public, certain areas are closed off. The main reason for this is that it may create too much disturbance for the birds. So if there are any birds nesting or preparing to breed, then that could be a massive disruption to them and they will end up not doing that. Another reason why is so is that any birds which come here, they're protected. So they don't get scared off by someone just randomly walking wherever they want. Because that is the big issue if you've got an area which is completely open access. And because of this unique habitat, there are particular species of animals and, and plants that have adapted uh, specifically for the hypersaline environment. Uh, one of them being is our national fish, which is the killifish. And this is actually the only wild population known uh, in Malta. Well, in the other places at the moment, it's been introduced or man had something to do with it. Uh, the killifish is very important, not just as a species, but this is also a food source for birds, especially the migratory species. Um, in fact, it is very common uh, for one to observe uh, birds, such as egrets, for example, uh, fishing for, for these killifish.